In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets, has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear in the Gospel reading today about Herod and how he is drawn to Jesus. He is perplexed by him. He wants to know more about Jesus, who he, Jesus is. And he kept trying to see him, to, to seek him, to know him. And so, in a mysterious way, God is drawing everybody to Jesus so that all of us may come to know Jesus, to know who he is because he is the truth, the way, and the life. And so all of us, too, uh, we're, we're called to, to know Jesus, but, but we have obstacles preventing us from, from seeking Jesus. Uh, a lot of obstacles like anxiety, fear, especially during this time, or busyness, or worldliness, or apathy, and all these things are obstacles to preventing us from, from really coming to, to Jesus, to seeking him and to knowing him. But I still see people, even during this time especially, they are, they are seeking Jesus. They are coming to Mass, daily Mass even. I celebrated 6.30 Mass this morning, and there were many people there seeking Jesus even before the sun is up. Right? And I see people coming to, ador uh, to adoration, standing outside our Blessed Sacrament Chapel. They, they are seeking to Jesus. But what about you? But then at the same time, I see people who are not seeking Jesus. They are absorbed in the world, they absorbed in their anxiety, absorbed in uh, fear, uh, absorbed in uh, whatever. They're not seeking Jesus. They, they're, they're allowing these obstacles to, to keep them from seeking Jesus. So remember, Jesus is always drawing us, inviting us to himself so that we may know him and love him and serve him. And that is our true happiness. That is our goal. That is our end. We are made for God, and we are made for eternal happiness. But we place, we allow these obstacles to prevent us from turning to Jesus. News, media, uh, worldliness, anxiety, all these things. So let us try to um, examine ourselves and, and, and seek what is truly important. Seek what is truly valuable. Seek what is truly eternal. Seek what is truly happiness. That is Jesus himself.